The Manugo Jar is a secondary burial excavated from a Neolithic burial site in Manugo Caves in Bone Point at Palawan. It measures 51.5 cm wide and 66.5 cm. And on top of the cover is a boat with two human figures that represent souls on a journey to the afterlife. in burial practices among the indigenous peoples in southern Philippines. The inside of a jar contains human bones which are covered with red paint like the Egyptian burial practice. The jar was also found to be equipped with numerous bracelets. The manner in which the hands of the front figure are folded across the chest is also a widespread practice in the islands when arranging the corpse. Manugul jar shows that the Filipino maritime culture is paramount that is reflected its ancestors' religious beliefs. Those designs are proof in the Filipino's common heritage. Manugul jar also signifies the belief of ancient Filipinos in life after death. The Manugo jar was found by Dr. Robert B. Fox in 1962. It was found alongside the discoveries of the Tabon Man. Tabon Caves is known to be a site of jar burials with artifacts dating a range from 4,250 to 2,000 feet. Chamber Date is a late Neolithic burial site during 890 to 710 BC. During that time, there is another method of burying in Visayas. According to Abuholano workmen, Visayas are not only buried in Lumut, but in large jars, glaze, and straw, in which they place the body seated and all the wealth they had to live. In Butuan, they were bound to a cross and tortured all day with the bamboo spikes, and finally ran through a spear and cast in the river of the dawn. Poor besides were buried wrapped in a banana leaves in a casket of simple thin goods or even bamboo. But the standard issue of a beside coffin is a hard wood like ipil, incorruptible enough to outlast its content. In Cebu, people were speared into the edge of the houseboards to drop into the grave already dug by them. When in Karigara, a boat was rolled over a prostrate body. William Henry Scott was born on July 10, 1951, in Detroit, Michigan, United States. He died on October 4, 1993, at the age of 72, in St. Luke Medical Center, Quezon City, Philippines. And his nationality is American, and his occupation is historian. Scott's first well-known academic work is the discovery of the Indirots. This is a history of the Cordillera mountain region over several centuries of Spanish contact, constructed from contemporary Spanish sources. The Nungo Jar was a perfect illustration of the creativity and sense of artistry of the Filipino people. The Nungo Jar also depicted the Filipino values of respect for one's soul, compassion, nationalism, and faith. The Manungul Jar served as a proof of our common heritage with our Austronesian speaking ancestor despite the diversity of the culture of the Philippine people. It was also a testament of the importance of the waters to our ancestors, the seas and the rivers for their conduct of trade, information and communication.